We're following some breaking news out of Vandalia this morning where police are looking for the person they say robbed a speedway, then led them on a high speed chase. Jake Ryle joins us live to explain why police backed off from that pursuit. Well, Brooke, good morning. We just had a chance to speak with Vandalia Police. They tell us this all happened right around 4 this morning here on East National Road at this Speedway gas station here. Police tell us the robber said he had a knife when he went inside and ran away with an undisclosed amount of cash. It took some good police work, though, to try to catch this guy as an officer spotted a car going fast on Larry Road right by this gas station here, and they believe they saw the suspect's car, a silver PT Cruiser. Police then tried to stop the car, and a pursuit ensued. It went southbound on 70 up on I-75 and got off on Wagner Fort Road. Police say it is a five foot nine white male, right around his uh, 165 pounds and in his late 30s. He did get away from police, and those pursuing him actually backed off, all in the name of public safety. The main reason was his speed. Uh, he was at the time that uh, I gave the direction to quit pursuing. He was actually reported as going over 100 miles per hour. And police do have an idea of who might have been inside of that car. They say based on other police reports that they've received from that vehicle, they have an idea of who might actually have robbed this gas station. As for the Speedway station here, it is still closed. Officers tell us that it should be open right around 10 or 15 minutes or so. So we're still going to be checking for an update on that. And as soon as it does reopen, we'll be sure to update you here on 2 News Today. Reporting live in Vandalia, Jake Ryle, 2 News Today, working for you.